thank you too to the Foundation for the opportunity. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Good afternoon. I just want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jim Mean. The Mean is spelled M-E-I-N as in Chow Mean. Now you know my nickname. I appear more frequently in Chinese restaurants than anywhere else. But I'm a former moderator of the Uniting Church in New South Wales and the ACT, been heavily involved with Affinity Intercultural Foundation since about 2006. So it's my pleasure here to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Aurora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respect to their elders, past and present. Affinity Intercultural Foundation is the result of an initiative going back around about 2000. It was formed by a group of young Muslim Australians many of whom I still meet, and one of the couples I call my interfaith daughter and son-in-law, and they show respect by calling me father-in-law, otherwise known as Phil. But their aim is to promote... Are you playing around with that? Uh, their aim is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural as well as interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society and particularly here in New South Wales, not just confined to the city of Sydney. Then I'm going to show you a, a brief uh, video which recaps events of 2017 just to give you an idea of the diversity of their activities. Australia is a warm, welcoming, open country. Having respect for all people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. People of all kinds are, are seeing the differences, I think, a little more clearly. For me, it's about returning to the lived experience that, that people have on on race and ensuring that we live up to the best of our traditions as a country. And the culture that they set will be the culture they inherit. To be able to share more information, whether it's intelligence or case management material, whatever it is, faster and better. In addition, the Department of Social Services is working closely with other departments like employment, education and training, human services and immigration and border protection on improving employment outcomes for humanitarian entrants. And this has got to be the largest number that we've had here. The night is about you and us uh, and as a community. Learning from each other, that's what Australia allows us to do. We are working together to make New South Wales safer. In fact, we have done that for many, many years. As we've come from so many other lands that we were able to meet here as one. We are the most culturally diverse country in the world. Uh, we all learn a little bit more about ourselves and about our community. Ramadan is that time of year that Muslims go deep. They reset the clock, take extra time to consciously reflect on their lives and reaffirm their commitment to God and to the precious bonds that connect us all as family and brothers and sisters in humanity. Courage, you know, dedication, you know, um Mateship sense of a sense of fairness. What we have seen and experienced by words and music this evening are the sort of things that hold us together and enable us to move forward together. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like to introduce today's facilitator, Professor Ian Benson, 
I haven't met Ian before, but I've had a delightful brief lunch to catch up with his background as a professor, a barrister, a practicing legal consultant, specialising in pluralism and human rights, with a particular focus on law and religion. He was co-drafted the South African Charter of Religious Rights and Freedoms in 2010, and has been a consultant to governments and organisations in a variety of countries. As a barrister, Ian has appeared before all levels of court, and his work, that's on the right side of the bench, on all levels of the court, and his work has been cited by the Supreme Courts of Canada and the Constitutional Court of South Africa. Author of over 40 academic books and articles, he is an extraordinary professor of law, University of the Free State of Bloemfontein, South Africa, and he's visited, been a visiting fellow and professor of universities of Toronto and Western Ontario. He divides his time between Australia, where he now lives, and France, South Africa and Canada, and the latter two of which he has appointments. In other words, we would call you, Ian, in Australia, the lucky star of pluralism. You've been everywhere, man. Uh, but welcome to be the facilitator today. Thank you.